Hey Exiles, how are we doing? We are back playing some more Saga of Survival. How are we going guys? Okay, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, so last few videos I've actually been doing has been more on the informational side of things where I sort of throw up some images, talk about it, all that sort of stuff. But this time I'm going to do something a little bit off cue here. And I'm going to do this at the sacrifice of one of my workstations and we're going to build it back up. So hopefully I've gotten all the necessary um, materials for this so I can do it all in one video for, for you guys. If I haven't, I'm going to apologize in advance to you guys right now if, um, for not doing it or having all the necessary vital uh, resources there, but we're going to try our best and organize it. So you might be asking why. Um, question, well, answer is simply is the whole experience factor. And a lot of people sort of have the trouble to get enough um, experience if they're trying to do the XP challenge, which is pretty much currently going on right at this minute. And, you know, hopefully this might help some of you guys um, get a little bit better at doing these type of challenges. And you can pretty much do all this in the lead up for the challenge itself. And hopefully you guys get something out of it. And yeah, we're just going to get into it. So basically what I'm going to do is, well, this is actually going to be hard. So <laughs> I really don't want to break down any workstations, but we're going to do it anyway. So I'm going to say goodbye to you and we're going to start building it again. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, that's gone. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's pretty hard to do, but I've done it. So before we get right into it, Quick disclaimer, we're in an XP challenge, so I'm gonna use this as a guide, so I really wanted to wait to do this. And unfortunately, I didn't get enough time to get all the resources to start off with, so um, I've sort of started with some EXP behind me, so we're, I'm already at the minimum requirement for this challenge, but we jump into the ranking here real quickly. So I'm on 8,633. So I just want you guys to either write that down or just um, remember exactly where we started at and to where we get um, to where we end off, I should say. So now we're going to go back and build up a uh, workbench. There we go. So easy enough, very basic materials for us to craft and get going. So we're going to naturally get uh, this one underway. And hopefully we can see some little EXP boosts as well. So I'm going to write some of these down as well, just to sort of give me, give you guys a bit of an idea. And hopefully um, it helps you guys out as well at the same time. Um, okay, I've completed a quest. I'm hoping that didn't change my XP. No, it did not. Okay, good. All right. So basically I need some rope, some iron ore, which I have here. I'm going to take that and rope and I need some wood. There we go. All right, so let's grab that. I'll pop these two back for now. And that's all we needed, I think. Oh, two more pieces of log. You know what, let's just use the stack, all good. All right, so let's create that. All right, so for creating, what do we get? 833 from okay, so that's 200 exp. Okay, so I'm just writing 200 exp. So that's just to start off with. So let's go back and put it in its place. And let's pop that down back where we found it. There we go. And now we have the basic carpenter's bench. So we're going to build this up. We're going to try and get this as far as further along as we can. Next, we're going to need some more iron. Um, and we're going to need some clay, stone and charcoal. So I should have all of that. Let's just grab some of that. Some of that. Uh, we said clay, didn't we? Yes, we did. And what else am I missing? That's not to, is that everything oh no charcoal charcoal all right so the idea about doing this guys is if you guys want to get your 
XP up to the highest level or achieve heights that you know that you can get uh, you know one star two star three star or legendary status I mean this is what the top tier guys are doing you know they're, they're basically farming the easiest route to increase your workstation and therefore go ahead with your exp so just before we upgrade that one more time let's just double check my xp that hasn't changed so i'm still on 88.33 which was a 200 from where i started from okay and then we're going to go ahead and upgrade bang now what did that put put us on so that put us on nine two three eight Okay, so from 888. Okay, so we are 9283. Okay, so basically looking at that, that was about probably a bit over 1200 EXP right there. So I'm going to calculate all this anyway and I'll, and I'll put that into a little graph and all that sort of stuff. But from what you can see, what I'm doing here, guys, this is just helping you guys out. And working out what will be the best practice for you to you know get better at you know grinding and getting better resources for you guys at the end of the day so i'm just going to put these back here we're going to need some anthracite i think it was yes and we need some iron bars so conveniently i did throw up a lot of these things over here anyway so hopefully um we'll have enough and let's go back and let's put everything into place all right again oops okay so 92.83 we are sitting at and let us upgrade to level three so with that bump up we are at 10,4.83 and I'll work that out anyway. So basically I'm just writing all this down and what I'll try and do is probably in the description is I'll try and work out all your EXP bumps per level as well. Um, and hopefully you guys will um, yeah, take great benefit from that. Next up. All right, so we need more iron bars. So let's just pop what we can into place for now. And we need some oak oil. Which, uh, do I have any oil left? That's a good question. Ooh, we might have a problem here. Oil might be my little bottleneck. Because I don't think I have enough oil. I think I'm going to miss out on oil, guys. Oh, no. Lucky. <laughs> Alright, so we're good. We'll keep going. And what did I need from here? I needed some oak and I needed some iron, I believe it was. And as I weasel my way around, oak. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade one more time. And what did that do? So basically that was, that's 12, uh, 483. So that was a 2K increase. So that was one, that's two, that's three. So that's level four so far. And uh, what does level five demand of us? Okay, so this is where we're going to need some steel plates and things like that i'm going to drop the anthracite into that and i'm going to sort most of this out later on anyway so forgive me guys poor management but that's okay so we'll need some brimstone i think it was what else did we need um so clay bars and steel plates I think I had some of these guys stored up over here. I did have the brimstone. That's all right. I'll take the anthracite with me. Okay. And the steel plates I'll need. 
which I have a small allowance over here. All right, so this should be enough for everything. Okay, so again, let's go ahead and upgrade. And what did that put me on to? So from 12,000 to 15. So now they're just going up in even numbers now, which makes life a little bit easier for me. And that was about 3K. Okay, so next level. Whoops. Okay, so I need the rest of that. Anything I can drop in here, I am not able to do so. I think I've got the little wand over here. Yes, I do. I think it was just that amount I needed. And I know I've got some water casks over here. So for the interest in science, I'm going to finish that off. And just before I do that, because I was at 15, uh, 483, and now I'm on 17. So I'm going to have to deduct some points off that. Okay, so that was about 2,200 to be honest with you. All right, so let's say 2.2K, give or take. So ideally I would, I would have wanted that to be done first. I probably should have had that done first in the first place. And I think I'm okay there. All right. So we'll drop some of that in, that in. And that is going to give me everything else here. Okay. And I'll have to deduct some points off this as well. But like I said, I will give you guys all the right numbers as best as I can when I'm done. But just trying to get you guys in that sort of mindset to sort of show you what it sort of takes and you know is it viable you know is it worth your time and the reason why i sort of chose the workbench is based on some of the images that i've seen beforehand um what did i come here for i honestly can't even remember um i think that would have been belts i think i need leather belts yeah oops here we go okay i'm pretty sure that was what i needed there we go all right so this time round, I'm sitting on uh, 18,155. So let's see what that one does now. Okay, so nice little bump up again. And I'm on 21,165. So 21,165 was the next one. And that was level six, I believe it was. So again, I'm just writing this down for you guys. So sorry, excuse me on that one there. But that's going from, that's a 3K increase, okay? So we'll get a rolling tally later on and I'll show you, and I'll show in the comment section uh, how much that has done to us. So next up, we're gonna go back up to level six, which is the Elm Plank uh, resource that it's gonna give us. Um, so let's go to here. Drop that back there. And I believe I needed some dust over here. Magic dust, perfect. And I'll drop those back. And I think I needed some steel, didn't I? Yes, I did. Steel and brimstone. I should have that all over here. And brimstone, okay. So let's go into that, that, and that, and that. And we said we're at 2165. What does that do to us now? 25655, that was a 4K increase. That was 4K, Jesus. All right, that's, that's huge. And I think we've got one more after that. 
and this is the final one. So we're going to drop everything else into here. Ideally, I would have loved to have done this with zero EXP at the start. So again, as I said, guys, I do apologize for this. Really, really do, but I wish I had it, you know. So it just gives you guys how much EXP that you guys can get per time that you do this. But this is what I'm saying. You guys need to sort of work out, or it's a trial by error sort of system where you we're using the carpenter's bench as one example. The, the biggest issues that I see is the ointment, the chain weave, uh, you know, room mold. Look, I've got, I've got heaps of room mold, so I don't know about you guys, but for me, I, you know, I'm okay with blowing that every time. And then the steel is, you know, eh, it's okay. But then again, it's something that you got to be worried about as well at the same time. But anyway, let's go ahead and upgrade that. And now I am basically back to where I was. Level 8, as high as we're going to get with that. Final score, I'm sitting on 30,155. Okay, so 30,155. I did start with 8,633. So before I get into that off the bat, that's basically, that's nearly a 20,000 EXP boost. Because I'm taking, remember, I'm taking out some EXP that I gained from the, the water cask and a couple of other little bits and pieces I had to finalize in my, um, in my workstations to, uh, to basically achieve what I had to begin with before I deleted that workstation. So maximum expenses, I'm looking at the chain wave of us, as I said, the ointment and the steel bars. Um, I, you guys, depending on what your level is, you guys might think, you know, agree or disagree on that. That's totally fine. But that's basically average. You're going to get 20K in doing that. And right now, at this recording, that's less than 20 minutes I've spent just upgrading and I've got 20K just like that. So EXP matters when you're upgrading your workstations, but what do you throw your resources in? and what's gonna maximize your potential, not just for you, but for your clan as well. So, <clears throat> you know, for me, unfortunately, with the clan um, that I have it in its current state, it's not the best, but um, that's only just because my time has been divided quite considerably, and unfortunately, everyone else um, at the, in the same sort of transition have either moved on, if they've gone to different clans, which is fine, or the, you know, um, playing the game has been a lot a lot less of importance which is fine and that happens so anyway i'm not going to get into that to a whole nother story but hopefully you guys got a lot out of that um and you know encourage yourselves to check out your other workstations what upgrade paths are required or what type of um, upgrade paths should you guys be doing uh, to you know help yourselves but also your clan as well and if you can do that you know that was less than 20 minutes and I got 20K, let's say on average. If you do that for about an hour, that's a hundred, that's nearly a hundred thousand. Um, you know, if you, if you sort of divide your time up, you know, so well, I wouldn't say an hour, but maybe a little bit more, probably if you spent two hours on that and you had all the resources ready to go and you grinded throughout the whole week, you've just got your hundred K there. Multiply that by 30. That's, that's 3 million. <laughs> you know, and what else do you say from that? If you've got 30 people doing the exact same thing as I've just done, you can pretty much clean up every single XP challenge. So I'm going to leave it here, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the video description down below in the comment section. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say about this, but I had fun doing that. Um, you know, I was edgy at, at the start but I'm glad I went through it and I basically showed you guys what you need to do but also what I'm going to leave in the description is each EXP boost and how much that gives you per um, per time that you increase it as much as I can to the closest uh, denomination as possible so at least you guys have got the right uh, info based on all that anyway enough about that guys hope you guys enjoyed that video let me know down in the comments make sure you hit the like button 
If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that sort of good stuff. All right, guys, take it easy. Catch you next time.